Today, we're going to make the circuits that you saw a couple slides ago. Make sure that you have collected all the materials that you saw on the previous slides. You're going to start with your piece of 6x6 six six cardboard and two pieces of foil. These two pieces of foil are going to need to be folded into approximately two inch thick strips. All you have to do is fold it over like this until you get the two inch strips. Okay? Now, once you have your two two inch strips, you're going to take both of them, fold them in half, And then using your scissors, you're going to cut both of them in half. You have now created the four strips that you need on the sides of your circuit. On one of these strips, you're going to take the center and you're going to cut about one inch out of it. This is going to make room for your Christmas light. I suggest you glue or taping the Christmas light onto these before you tape them onto the cardboard. It makes them it makes it much easier. So I'm going to take these and flip them because I don't like my seams to be showing. I'm going to get a piece of tape. Tape the bare wires of the Christmas light to one side and trying to make sure that they're evenly spaced across and at the same level I'm going to get another piece of tape and I'm going to tape down the bare wires to the other piece of foil Okay, this will make your top piece. The bottom piece, you again will cut a little bit out of the middle, but this time you're only going to cut about a half an inch. You don't need much of a space because this is where you will be um, connecting your battery. The next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and lay down your sides. Okay. If they seem to be a little long, you can trim them down so that they have a little bit of an edge around it. Okay. When I am taping these down, I will put a small piece of tape right here at the edge on both sides. I will then take my two pieces here and make sure that I tape them over and here I take a piece of tape and I come out from the corner. It is very important that your foil touches because as we have all learned about circuits, if our foil doesn't touch, we will not have a complete circuit. If we don't have a complete circuit, then we don't have the energy flow that we need. Okay, The last piece is you're going to go ahead and tape on your Christmas light. Again, piece of tape and you're going to go from this inside corner and tape it down. You can add another piece of tape up top here. 
I'm going to do the same on, oops, sometimes that happens. We'll have to go back and re-tape. Christmas light. The hard part now is going to be to get this tape off because I cannot just put another piece of tape over it because then what is happening? The lead wires, the wires from the light are not touching the foil. Tape is not a conductor, it's an insulator. So it will not allow that um, circuit to work. So I'm going to take down this corner, take down up here, and then my final step is to test it out to see if I have made a complete circuit. So I'm going to take my 9 volt battery and I'm going to touch it to each side. If my Christmas light lights up, then I have done what I needed to do and I have created a complete circuit.